Hi there, my name is Stacey Simmels. I'm a feeding and swallowing specialist, speech therapist, and Doddle's expert partner. I'm also a mum of two little ones. So I've been asked to do this video on how to get your baby and then your toddler into a bit of a routine with naps and meal times. And it's a brilliant, brilliant topic to chat about and to address because it can be quite tricky, particularly in the early stages of starting solids when the baby may well be napping three or four times in a day. So fit in naps and meal times and uh, milk feeds. So I'm gonna start with what you're gonna do at six months or what I would suggest you do and then see how that evolves. So when your baby um, first starts solids, I would suggest that you prioritize your baby's sleep needs first because that can be the thing that is um, hardest to achieve and the thing that you really wanna sort of get so that your baby can eat well and be wet, sort of happy and um, relaxed and not too um, overtired, ready for their meals. So if your baby's on a nap schedule, keep to that. Or if you're following something around wake windows where you're watching um, for your baby's tired cues, you, you would do that. And then you would continue to breastfeed or formula feed responsively around uh, their naps like you were already doing. And then you're looking at fitting in the solid food meals at appropriate intervals outside of those two things. So typically they would have had some milk, had a nap, uh, had a nap first, then had a little bit of milk. And that would be then the window where you would give them something to eat. I don't follow or suggest that you follow prescribed times of the day, but I would more be looking at having patterns to when you're doing things. So for example, if baby's gonna have a nap today at 11, then you're, they're gonna wake up at say 11.45. You'll offer them some milk when they've woken up, so they'll be done by around 12-ish. You'll be looking at giving them some solids around 12.30, half an hour or so after that milk feed um, and then they're not too tired because they they've only been awake sort of 45 minutes or so they're not too ready for the next nap and that's going to be a good window and a good time for you to give their solid meals and it may vary each day within half an hour or so depending on how long they slept or napped but that's going to be around your lunch time and that's how we'd get started when it comes to thinking about meal times. Now, as your baby gets older, they're going to start having less naps in a 20 in, in a daytime period. And that's where you need to be flexible around when your solid food times are. Once your baby gets to around uh, two naps in a day, then really what, what happens is you're looking at lunchtime being um, a bit of a conflict in terms of when they have their second nap of the day. So typically, they may have a first nap, say, around nine-ish, and then they may be looking at having a nap around one-ish. And if that's working out well and working for you, um, then they'll be having their lunch uh, before that afternoon nap, and that sits really, really well. The next tricky stage and phase is when they drop down to one nap as they enter toddlerhood. And at this time, it can be really, really difficult because some babies will start their naps at 11 o'clock and you're looking at giving them a later lunch because you don't want them too tired for lunch time. Other babies may be wanting to take that nap at 12 or 12.30, which may mean that you have to give them lunch before the nap. And that can come with a few challenges, particularly in the first or early stages of them dropping their morning nap by the time they're starting to get towards their lunchtime nap, they can be really exhausted. And one of the things that I can say from experience is not to have great expectations of what they may eat at lunchtime when they're dropping down from two to one naps, for sure. There was a period where my son barely ate lunch uh, whilst he was doing that transition. Probably, maybe we'd get like one decent lunch out of him out of, out of seven, you know, something along those lines. Other, other babies may cope okay. The other thing that may be happening is that you're noticing that you're gonna to have to give lunch around 11 o'clock or 11.15, which may be earlier than you'd like or earlier than the rest of the family, so that they're just not too tired to eat, particularly if they're an early riser and they've had breakfast early, but also, 
that um, there's enough time for them to get from lunch to getting ready for having that nap when they need it the most so that you're not, the two things aren't clashing. Obviously, once they drop that nap, then you're looking at um, meal times to suit you and to suit your activities and they don't really have to fit in with naps and nap times. So I hope that you found that video helpful. Uh, thanks for watching. Da 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 da